Alright, today we're going to be talking about EduBlogs, which is really just a WordPress multi-site setup, but it's turned into a pretty large company and they have just about 2 million blogs that they're powering uh, and it's free to set up and free to use. You can upgrade to get a few more features like running class blogs and stuff, but I'll show you that in a second. For now, I want to show you the main EduBlogs page, which is eduBlogs.org. You can see right up here. And they are really almost the only game in town running a massive amount of school blogs for teachers and students of any age. So you can look through and check out why they're different and all that stuff. But really the main reason to do this is if you want to just talk about education stuff on your blog and WordPress.com or Tumblr doesn't really fit the bill or you want a little more help with how you're actually going to blog. So that's where EduBlogs come, comes in, that's their niche. So they make it really simple to create your own blog. I've already done that, but you can always go to get your free blog now, and you can see that I already have one, but it'll ask you to push in a little bit more information, and you can make this whatever you want. So another blog.edublog.org, um, it'll tell you if it's taken. But we're going to skip that part right now, and instead I'm just going to walk you through what it looks like to actually own your very own EduBlog. So I made this uh, demo site, which is the Modern Lessons EduBlog, and as you can see, the URL is modernlessons.edublogs.org. And you probably recognize it as being the essentially the generic WordPress theme. They've done a little bit by changing the colors and changing the default background image here, or the header image. But you can go through and change all this stuff as much as you want. So what you do in order to do that is go over here and click on Dashboard. And if you use WordPress or have taken our WordPress course, then this will all look familiar. If you haven't taken uh, our WordPress course, I would definitely recommend you do it. It usually takes just a few hours and you'll be able to do everything you ever wanted with WordPress and you'll be able to use EduBlogs even better. If you are familiar, then you'll probably see a couple different things than your standard WordPress setup. First of all, there's a thing called My Class over here. And you can always join a class, which is essentially you're a student and you want to share your blog with your teacher. So if it was an assignment or something, you can search and join your teacher's blog uh, right there and they can manage it for you. You can also create a class. Uh, you need to be a pro member to do that. But as you can see, you can create a class blog and other people can join it. And you can manage a lot of really cool stuff like privacy and if students are able to post on the blog, you can moderate all those posts so you have to approve them, that kind of stuff. So you can use EduBlogs in a ton of different ways right out of the box uh, without the kind of stuff that you can on wordpress.com. I want to show you quickly what it means to become a pro member and it's five dollars a month and that's definitely the best way to upgrade but you can also just do forty dollars a year if that's more your thing and I would definitely recommend uh, this only after you've used EduBlogs for a while and to make sure you know that it's exactly what you want because there's a lot of tools that you get for free, but it's important to try out the pro tools as well, even just for a month. So that's only five bucks. All right. So one of the other popular features that is different than WordPress.com or Tumblr is you get a wiki. So as you probably know, wiki like Wikipedia is a website or piece of your website that you, you can edit and other people can edit. So the beauty of it is crowdsourcing or in this world classroom sourcing so your students can go in and play around with stuff and edit things and even work on assignments using the wiki in your classroom blog on EduBlogs which is pretty cool. Uh, finally you can look at stats which are always fun so you can see who is using your site and everything and that's what another feature that you get with EduBlogs Pro so for five dollars you can start seeing this kind of stuff um, who is using it, when your students are logging in, and all that good stuff. But if you want, uh, you can actually use Google Analytics once you upgrade to Pro as well, and then you can start tracking even more data. 
So that can be a whole lot of fun. Um, another feature that is for Pro is forums. Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. So another feature is forums. And this is also for Pro users, but basically it's a discussion forum that you might find on something like Edmodo uh, or a lot of other discussion tools. So as you can see, EduBlogs is powerful, but they have a lot of features that are designed to get you to upgrade to Pro. And that makes sense, it's a company, so I don't blame them, but there's a lot of free ways to do all this stuff too, but they just make it very simple for just five bucks, they'll give you all the stuff that you're probably looking for already in one easy to use package. So the beauty comes in the ease of use here. If you're just looking for a blog, then you can do basically anything you want using just the free offerings from EduBlog, but if you're using it for a classroom, you probably wanna consider upgrading to Pro. I hope you learned a little bit and check out EduBlogs and enjoy the modern lesson.